Hi, this is uh, Le Cong uh, from the Broad Institute and the Montgomery Institute for Brain Research at MIT. Today, I would like to introduce to you the genome engineering technology and its application in mammalian cells through this talk here. So, to introduce you to this very exciting new biological technology called genome engineering, I would like to break my talk into three parts. The first part is the motivation why we are doing genome engineering and why it's going to be very useful for biological researchers. And the second, the basic principle, how we can perform genome engineering. And the third, what are the existing technology that allow us to perform genome engineering? So going into the motivation part, the reason why we started to think about genome engineering is really because the development of large-scale biological data collections. As you can see here, in the past, we were doing fairly low throughput genome sequencing, as shown here in this gel. And a lot of scientists in the past were basically observing the genomic genome data space with very little uh, you know, throughput. However, very rapidly through the development of technologies like, for example, the Sanger sequencing, the capillary sequencing, and more recently, you know, these high throughput sequencers, the next generation sequencing, and even more recently, the uh, single cell sequencers and new generation sequencers were really collecting biological data at a very enormous speed that nobody had ever imagined. With these data, came in the age of big data biology, and also the discovery of complex circuits and pathways in many diseases or biological processes, uh, as shown here in this example of insulin pathway. So the insulin signal pathway has um, many different components, as shown on this model. And to understand each of their function, to understand how they're contributing, for example, to a disease like diabetes, it's really critical to be able to control the activity or the uh, you know genomic uh, property of each of the individual components with this complex signaling network. However, it's very difficult to use traditional genetics to perform such large-scale perturbation experiments. And similarly, uh, in the study of, for example, neuropsychiatric disease. People in the past years have used extensive genome-wide association studies or whole genome sequence studies to try to map out the genetic variants that are associated with these diseases. So shown here is a figure that lay out most of the newly discovered genomic variants, such as SNPs or CNVs, that are associated with autisms. And these uh, many targets uh, suffer from the major problem that we couldn't really verify the causal relationship between these genetic variants and disease phenotype because the lack of technology that allow us to perform perturbation of each of these individual components, these genes, in the biological system very efficiently. For example, um, to create these SNPs of carbon variations in the animal model would take us years or even decades with traditional genetic tools. Hence, there is really an urgent need in the big data biology age for having a very high throughput compatible genome engineering technology that allows us to perturb, perturb the biological system. And next, when we have these tools, we can really imagine a lot of very exciting applications across biological research and medicine. To give you two examples, the first example is gene therapy, where the genetic engineering will be used to create specific changes in the genome to cure disease. For example, we all know that HIV is a very hard to treat disease. However, imagine if we can engineer a mutation to the CCR5 gene that will render the cell inaccessible to HIV viral entry then we can imagine through this gene therapy of CCR5 gene, we will be able to make HIV vaccines. And actually, some 
some of the uh, drugs that have basically exact idea are being tested in clinical trials. And the second example is in biofuel and biomaterial production, where genome engineering technology will allow us to systematically engineer the metabolic pathways of microbiomes, uh, microbiomes. Uh, then that way, we will be able to engineer their metabolic pathway for production of very useful industrial biomaterials or even biofuels and other, you know, useful uh, biomasses for industrial uses. 